Are you tired of your PC running slow? Do you wish your computer was faster and more efficient? Well, look no further because today we're going to be taking a look at a PC optimization software made by someone that you might not expect. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft PC Manager. PC Manager is an all-in-one solution to optimize your PC. With just a few clicks, you can remove temporary files, junk files, and optimize your PC settings. The result is a faster and more efficient PC, which runs just like new. But that's not all, PC Manager also includes a performance boosting tab, which when clicked can actually boost your system performance, reduce memory usage, and is really helpful in stuff like gaming, video editing, or just general productivity. And the best part is PC Manager is made by Microsoft, so you can trust that it is not malicious whatsoever. All you need is Windows 10 1809 or later. So yeah, let's go ahead and unleash our PC's full potential and check out PC Manager by Microsoft to see if it's any good. All right. Right, guys so to install windows pc manager we need to go ahead and get it from the official microsoft website so just go to your web browser and type in microsoft pc manager and it should be the first one that comes up so yeah this is pretty cool to see we've got some screenshots and stuff of it all the features and things that it can do but yeah here we go so yeah it's pretty easy microsoft corporation official thing accept the user license agreement install so yeah it's super easy to install it's just finishing up now and boom there we go just press launch now and here we are in Microsoft PC Manager. Wow, I honestly never thought I'd see the day, but here we are reviewing one of Microsoft's official PC performance tools. So there are many features of Microsoft PC Manager. As you can see here, we've got our memory usage here, which is at 60%, which is quite a lot. And we've got 1.3 gigabytes of temporary files. So if we just click on boost here, boom, <laughs> it's cleaned 1.3 gigabytes of temporary files and our memory usage has gone down just in one click. Really cool. Cool. So we've got health check here as well. So I'm guessing this is a little bit like C cleaner, although we probably shouldn't talk about C clean around here. Bleach bit, bleach bit. Yeah, we'll talk about that. So this is pretty much similar to that. It cleans up, you know, system logs, temporary files, recent file lists. Now, this is a fairly fresh install of Windows 10, so there isn't a lot here. But if you run this for yourself, then uh, there might be some more stuff for you. So yeah, select actions to proceed and boom, it's just so easy to use. Just two clicks and boom, you've just sped up your computer. Easy. We've got storage management here as well. So say if our drive was getting full here, we could do a deep clean of our drive and remove all the unnecessary stuff that we don't need, which is pretty cool. So if we go to deep clean up here, oh wow, it actually found some stuff for me. So we've got some Windows update stuff here, prefetch, defender, temporary files cache and stuff. Why not? Let's go ahead and clean that. Boom, we've just saved 21.9 megabytes of space. Ah, uh, every little helps. So the thing I want to show off is storage manager. So if we go to manage large files here, let's put it to about, let's put it to about 100 megabytes and then just go view file explorer. It should now come up and it shows me some pretty big files that are on my computer. So stuff like block bench, uh, one of my PVP texture pack videos, which you should definitely check out on my second channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. And then we've got office setup, some old videos that I've been downloading and some ISOs, which is just typical for me. So this is pretty cool. It sorts it from smallest to biggest and I do quite like it to be honest because you can just go through, delete all the things that you don't want anymore that are quite big and that are taking up space on your computer. They have a similar feature on Mac, which I use quite a lot to delete large files off my Mac. Stuff like setups, you like, you don't even know how big they are nowadays. Like this was just like a regular setup for Blockbench, but I didn't realize it was 150 megabytes. You know, if I was running low on space, then stuff like this is an absolute lifesaver. So yeah, really cool feature of PC Manager. Now let's get back to my low-end PC. Right, so the next feature we've got is manage apps. So you can remove rarely used apps to save space. Now this is basically just a link to the settings app on your computer. Pretty easy just to uninstall an app that you don't want anymore. So just go for DX Story, for example, uninstall, and there you go. It is now uninstalling. Wow, that was really easy. Wow. Yeah, so these two last ones are a little bit pointless, really. Like, you can just go into settings and find these. Storage sense as well. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Windows LTSC does have storage sense. So you can turn on system storage, and it says here that it basically cleans up enough space to help your system run at its best. It's only really recommended if you're getting low on space, but you can have it on. If you've got a smaller hard drive out there, then this might help. 
but I personally don't have that on. So yeah, that's the storage manager section of PC manager here. We've got process management as well here. So this is pretty much just like task manager, except with a nicer UI, I guess. So if we wanted to end Firefox here, just end it, boom, it's closed. That's a little bit of a more basic one. And again, just like task manager, we've got startup apps. Now you probably will have more than I have because this is obviously a fresh install, but you can turn on and off startup apps on here as well. Don't really see the point of that, but yeah, this boost stuff's pretty cool. Next up, we've got a security tab here. So this is pretty much just like Windows Defender, basically. So you can scan your PC for threats, which I'm guessing, oh, it does it within the app. I was expecting it to open up Windows Defender or something there. So yeah, this shouldn't take long because I don't have much on this computer. Right, we're done and no threats are found luckily. It scanned 600,000 files and we found nothing. Now it does say here that it has done a check on Windows Defender so but I'm pretty sure this section is pretty much just a shortcut to Windows Defender. So yeah as you can see here Windows Defender summary yeah it's pretty much just done that. So we've got Windows update and stuff here so you can manage Windows updates and stuff through here. Again it's pretty much just a shortcut to Windows updates so we'll leave that. And then we've got browser management protect default browser Browsers. Okay, so it's recognized we've got Firefox as our default browser here. Wait, is that it? <laughs> is this literally just an advert for Edge? Change default browser, Microsoft Edge, recommended. Is this literally it? So you can just change the default web browser through here and that's it. Surely there's more to this browser management. So as you can see at the top here, it does say public beta. So there's probably going to be more features added to this very soon. But it's pretty cool to see Microsoft doing something like this. I do have a theory why they're doing this and I'll let you know later on. But there is actually actually a version 3 of this tool. Now it's not publicly available on Microsoft's website but I'll show you guys how to get it. So this is it right here. If we go to TechSpot, I'll leave a link to this in the description down below, but you can get the version three beta. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this then, I guess. I don't know why Microsoft haven't released this properly yet, but here we go. Now let's play a game. Which download button is it? Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm guessing it's this one. No, I think that's an advert. Wait, no, continue to download. Yes, okay, we got it. <laughs> Oh, some of these sites, man. I'd say it's probably a good idea to uninstall the version we've just installed, just so it doesn't get confused. So we've just installed it, used it, and now bye. It's gone. That was pretty easy to uninstall, actually, unlike most Microsoft stuff. Right, okay, now we've got our v3 beta. Let's install this. So yeah, this pretty much just installs just like before, really. So uh, yeah, let's try out V3. All right, so this is version three. Now this looks a lot better. There's a lot more features in this version. So we've obviously got PC Boost here, which we might as well just click on. Oh, that's cool. Got a little rocket animation as it's boosting our performance. I like that a lot. That is pretty good. So we've got health check, processes, deep cleanup. Startup. Okay, what's this then? Oh, these are startup apps. They just renamed it. Okay, so this is pretty cool here. Your PC needs a health check. Okay, we've done that. Proceed. Boom. There we go. So it gives you little tips and stuff up here. This is like the main area. Then we've got protection, which is basically just Windows Defender antivirus scan. At least they admit it now. At least they say it's a Microsoft Defender antivirus scan. Windows update, taskbar repair. What's this? Enable search box on taskbar, news and interests, Microsoft store. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So you don't have to do that. I don't know why it's called repair. Oh, I guess it's like repair taskbar and restore default. So if we repair that. Oh, it's basically just put everything back to default, which we don't want. So yeah, this is pretty much just restores your taskbar settings to default. Don't really know why you want that. And I don't really know why it's under protection either. And then we've got default apps and stuff here, which is basically just an advert for Microsoft Office and Microsoft Edge. Yeah. So we've got the storage sense as normal here. We've got the apps and stuff here, like apps processes. You can end stuff through here, startup apps, and you can manage apps. Pretty standard like before. But now we've got a new section called Toolbox. Ah, Windows Toolbox. Oh, that was weird. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think this is going to be a Windows Toolbox kind of instant here. This is Microsoft, you know, it's official. It's not going to cause any problems. Right, anyway, so Toolbox, basically what you can do is you can show this on the desktop and it's a cool little kind of widget here. Do you remember gadgets in Windows 7? It's kind of like that, really. So there's quick links here, which you can swap out. So if you just want to open up Edge, you can just click here, but you can swap it out for something else like Office, which 
I don't have. But I'm sure if you had more stuff on your computer, you could swap this for another icon that you might want quick access to. Another thing that's pretty cool is if you need to quickly make some notes, you just press this, opens up notepad and boom, you can type away. There's also a shortcut to the settings, I think here. Oh no, that just opens up PC manager. Oh, okay. You can make it bigger. Okay. This might actually be quite useful. Currency converter, translator, Bing, MSN, probably not as useful, but yeah, translator and currency converter might be pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We've got some quick little settings here. You can translate stuff. You can convert stuff. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that just opens up edge. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be like a widget or something. Yeah, no, don't bother with that. That basically just opens up edge and search currency converter, which we don't really want. I'm guessing the same thing with translate as well. Yeah, Microsoft Bing translate. What's this? Bing search bar. No, don't want that. So yeah, this is pretty much it here. And then we've got this, which is a quick little shortcut to boost your PC's performance. So right now it's showing 50%. I'm guessing that's like RAM usage or something. Let's check this. Let's see if this is actually for real here. Yep, that's actually right. 51% memory usage. So if we go ahead and press this little rocket icon, boost. And okay, it's, <laughs> it's taking us down to 44%. And that's official. We can prove that through the task manager as well. So that's pretty cool. I like how you can just have it here. I'm pretty sure you can drag it anywhere on your screen. Oh, and if you put it up here, you can just, you know, do your thing and then just uh, hover over it and it pops up. That's pretty cool. I think you can, yep, you can put it at the side as well. And I think you can put it here. I don't think you can put it at the bottom. But yeah, that's a pretty cool, neat feature of the new PC manager, this little toolbox section. Pretty cool. And it'd be good if they added some more features here as well. And then we've just got some general settings here. So we've got smart boosting. PC manager will automatically boost your PC when high usage of RAM or if there's one gigabyte of temporary files. That's a good setting to have on actually. I'll turn that on. Start PC manager automatically when I turn on my PC. Early access to features. I might actually turn that on because I'm quite excited to see where this goes and auto update PC manager. And then yeah, that's pretty much about it really. So it's a pretty basic tool, but pretty cool that it's made by Microsoft. Now we're going to get into my theory behind why they're doing this. So why all of a sudden is Microsoft decided to help us. You know, it's Microsoft that created the problem and now they're giving us a solution to a problem that shouldn't have existed in the first place. Surely if they made an optimized version of Windows, then we wouldn't need tools like this. So why are they doing this? So I have a couple of theories. One of them is that Microsoft wants everyone to update to Windows 11, whether you're on Windows 10, an old version, the latest version, they want you on Windows 11 and they want you on it now. If we have a look at some news articles and stuff here, as you can see, Microsoft is forcing all Windows 10 users to upgrade to 22H2, which is the latest version of Windows 10, and it's going to be the last version that they're going to support. Now, don't get me wrong, they are still going to be supporting it up to, I think it's 2026. I don't know. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. But yeah, basically, they want everyone in the latest version of Windows 10 because the latest version of Windows 10 is going to have pop ups and updates galore coming up on your screen. Update to Windows 11, update to Windows 11. Oh, there's so many good new features in Windows 11. And they're basically just going to force it down your throat until you update to Windows 11. We've seen this before with Windows 7 and updating to Windows 10. Now, I'm sure people will resist. I'm sure there's like registry tweaks that can remove all of these for us, but we'll have to see what they end up doing. So yeah, they want everyone on Windows 11, basically. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if they drop the TPM and secure boot requirements for Windows 11, because they want everyone on the latest version. So obviously people with low end PCs and older computers are going to struggle on Windows 11. It's very bloated. And until they come out with Windows 11 LTSC, which a lot of people aren't probably going to adopt, then tools like this might become more mainstream. So PC manager might come built in with Windows 11 versions in the future. However, I'm also hearing that later versions of Windows 11 that are in beta right now have actually got quite a lot of performance features. So lots of performance improvements under the hood in the latest beta versions of Windows 11 that are coming out right now. I haven't had a chance to check out any of them, but from what I'm hearing, it's sounding pretty promising. So Microsoft have done a complete U-turn on low-end PCs and bloated Windows. And now maybe a low-end PC might officially be able to run Windows 11, which is what we've wanted all this time. You know, we don't want to install custom operating systems. We don't want to have to install third party tools. We don't want to install Windows Toolbox and get a virus. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to jinx it. They could watch this video and just decide not to do it now. But I think that's kind of the direction they're heading because we've never seen something like this from Microsoft before. A PC manager 
boost your PC performance type application? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd definitely be interested to hear what you guys think about all of this. I don't think Windows want to lose their market share to Linux because I know it's going to annoy a lot of people forcing everyone to update to Windows 11. But if they make the Windows 11 option actually good, like, you know, maybe more optimized than Windows 10 and that actually works well on low end PCs, then... There must be some kind of thing they're going to try and sell you when everyone's on Windows 11. I don't know. We'll have to see. Thank you guys all for watching. This has just been a quick video today on PC Manager. Pretty cool software. And it kind of reminds me a little bit about the performance boost on Samsung phones. I don't know why. Just the rocket and the boost. I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.